massage guns. So there's five different ways that I like to use massage guns in the clinic and also in the gym. So what I'll go through the number one. So massage guns, I've got this one here from Massage Guns Ireland. I've no affiliation with them, but I just find the quality is quite good, the battery lasts a long time, and they're pretty durable. Again, there's a lot of cheaper ones on the market if you want to look into them. So one of the reasons, one of the, one of the main ways that I like to use it is for warm-up. So when you go into the gym and you want to warm up an area, particularly if you're that little bit older, particularly if you've been sitting all day, if you've been in the car all day, you may need to increase the body temperature, increase the, the blood flow, the heat, the temperature, and increase the synovial fluid lubrication around the particular joints. When you're using it for warm-up, what I would challenge you to do is to go along the muscle fiber rather than across fiber friction and try to be a bit more speedy with your warm-up. So it's up and down, it's around the particular area, particularly around the, the muscular tendon junction, around the joint, not necessarily on the bone. So when I do use the massage gun along the muscle fiber, around the muscular tendon junction, then do a few repetitions of the movements we're gonna be doing during the session. So we do some mobility, we do some stability, we do some massage gun, then we do some activation of the particular movement we're we'll gonna be using in the gym. Wailing on a muscle, going across fiber friction, hunting out for pain and trigger point. It's not something that we do as a warm up or as an activator. What we're trying to do here is go along the muscle fiber, go on the muscles, both on the primary muscles or on the secondary muscles. So let's say the bench press, we will go along the muscle fiber line of whatever um, aspect of a bench press we're doing, or fly or, or, or dip. We will activate the tricep, we will work on the anterior delt, we will also work on the lats. So we're using it not only for the, the prime movers, but also for the secondary muscles, the agonist muscles. We're going along the muscle fiber line, we're not wailing on the joint, and we're incorporating movement, we're incorporating mobility, stability, and activation of the movement that we're going to be doing in the gym. So what I'll do is, over the next series of videos, I'll go through the four other ways I like to use the maximum the benefit from it, not only from a therapeutic point of view, but from a posture, from a muscle activation and performance.